While debugging JavaScript, the Loaded Scripts view lets you view all the scripts that have been loaded into the current program. This includes both dynamic scripts as well as scripts that have been loaded from outside of the current workspace. Let's take a look at this with a simple JavaScript program. So here I have a Node app, and I can start debugging it just by pressing F5. Now if we actually look at the app, it is using the eval statement, which is a bad practice, but I'm using it here to demonstrate the feature. So you can see it's evaluating the code here, and then running a loop that is going to execute every two seconds or so. Now, if I actually go and try to set a breakpoint, nothing will happen because this is all just a big string. Um, so it, it's not possible to set a breakpoint inside of it. And this is one case where we can use the loaded scripts view. So let's go over to the debug view here, and I'll go down and see the loaded scripts section here. So I want the loaded scripts view. If you're not seeing this, right click in one of the debug sections and make sure loaded scripts is checked so that the loaded scripts view is going to be visible. Now, loaded scripts is going to show you every single script that has been loaded into the program. And because we're debugging a node program here, this also will include all of the different um, built-in libraries and modules here. So that we can see all of the built-in uh, node modules such as buffer and crypto and FS, those are all getting loaded. We can even go and click on one to go and browse the contents of that file, for example. In this case though, I'm gonna keep browsing through and I'm gonna go down to the section here, which is labeled eval. I'm going to expand this open and I'm gonna find the eval script that I'm interested in. So not that one, let's actually find the one here. And there, sure enough, is our script. Again, this is a script that is being loaded, but is not something we'd normally be able to browse to. Now inside of here, I can actually go and set a breakpoint. So I'll just cre create a breakpoint there. And now, sure enough, we are able to hit a breakpoint inside of the eval script. Now again, I'm using eval for demonstration purposes, but this could really be any script that is being loaded dynamically. So I'll just go and clear this breakpoint now and show off one other use case of the loaded scripts view, which is browsing to files outside of your workspace. So we look back at the file here. You can also see we're importing a file outside of our workspace. I can go and locate that file very easily. So back in the loaded scripts view, I'll just focus this and then use control F or command F to start a little search. And I'll type in the file name that I'm interested in. So I'll say constants. And you can see that the loaded scripts view is now highlighting that file and I can go click on it to view it, even though it's not part of my current workspace. I can also go and filter down the loaded scripts view. So instead of just highlighting things, I can filter things down by clicking on this little icon. So now my loaded scripts view only shows things that contain the word constants somewhere in the file name. 